All right, what is up, guys? I'm Ford here. I know I'm a bit behind on the beautiful TCG news today, um, but I figured we'd go ahead and still talk about it. So, Supreme King Dragon's the Hark. It looks like Maximum Crisis is going to be uh, the next booster set. So, it uh, looks like we're going to be getting uh, some pretty cool support for the uh, Dragon uh, King archetype. So, let's take a look at this. So, 3000 Light Wyvern. Uh, Damatan Metatron, the true Draco, Dracomium soldier. So, if you normal summon, or so this card, you must tribute three monsters and or continue a spell or trap card you control. Uh, that's very interesting. I can bring this out with uh, Fire Fist spells and traps on the field. Um, okay. Uh, if this card is unaffected by... Oh, this card is unaffected by the same type of cards affects the original type of cards that you use tribute. So, if you... Wow, okay. So, it's ineffective against spells and traps. Sure. And this tribute summon card is destroyed by your opponent's card. I have the rebel, but Carfax plus some one fusion synchro or XOZ monster from reaction deck that is earth, fire, water, or wind attribute. Hmm. I feel like this card's going to be extremely good at some point. Oh, let's see here. Uh, Marahume, the true Draco Phoenix. Uh, you can only use each effect of this guy once per turn. So if this card is in your hand, you can destroy two other monsters on the field or face up. So in your hand or face up, including a one time monster, you special summon this card. And if you do banish four cards on top of your bonus deck. If both uh were wind monsters. And if this card is destroyed by card effect, you can have one non wind wyvern monster from your deck to your hand. So continuing on with that trend of the wyvern guys. Uh next up is Dynamite Knuckle, the true Draco fighter. Uh if you are tribute summoning this card in face attack mode, you can tribute a face up spell trap card to control instead of a monster. Man, that's like the fact that you could just like have some bullshit with like tanky, maybe fire fist synergy. I don't know. I mean, everything just kind of goes together with the uh, uh, zodiac archetype. Uh, once per turn, your opponent activates a card or effect. If you control this tribute summon card, you can take one true Draco Slayer or uh, Draco King continuous shove card from your deck. Uh, and either add it to your hand or activate it on your side of the field. Okay, <laughs> the fact you can just activate it right away. Uh, Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warrior. If you trigger summoning this card in face of attack mode, you tribute a continuous spell trap card. Uh, once per turn, when your opponent activates effect, you can tribute this tribute summon card. You can take either one true Draco spell card or true king and activate it from your deck or add it to your hand. So keep that in mind. Uh, Majesty Maiden, the true Draco Mage. Uh, if you tribute summoning this card, uh, spell a trap card, once per turn, if your opponent activates a card or effect, if you control this tribute summon card, you can add one true king or true draco monster from your deck to your hand. Wow, they really have their coverage going here. Uh, next up is True King VFD the Beast. So, two or more level 9 monsters. Well, that's already a disappointment arena there. Uh, once per turn, during either player's turn, you can add from this card, then declare one attribute. Face up monsters on the field become monsters of that attribute. Monsters your opponent controls that attribute cannot activate their effects, also, they cannot attack. These changes last till the end of the turn. Of course, can't let that shit happen permanently. Uh, when this card in your monster zone, uh, if you would destroy a monster with the effect of a true king uh, monster in your hand, you can destroy your opponent's monsters instead. That's pretty adorable, um, considering it's like a boss monster. <laughs> um, next up is the true draco succession you can only activate one true draco succession once per turn so this is one of those uh continuous spell cards during your main phase you can draw a card for each type of true king or true draco monster spell trap card sent to the graveyard this turn what the fuck during your main phase you can immediately after this effect resolves tribute summon one true king or true monster or true draco monster so you gain an additional for the turn okay that's pretty insane and if this card is sent from the spell trap cards on the graveyard, you can target one spell trap card on the field and destroy it. <sighs> this deck's gonna be stupid. Uh, Draconic Diagram. All the true king and true dragon monsters gain three attack defense when this card in the field spells zone. Uh, each tribute summon true king monster cannot be destroyed by battle once per turn. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Uh, once per turn, you destroy one other card you control. Or have in your hand if you add one true king or true draco monster from your deck to your hand. So this gives you additional destruction, uh, which is extremely valuable. Uh, I almost want to say in a lot of situations. A revival of the true king. You can only use each effect of this guy once per turn. Uh, you can target one true drago in your graveyard and special summon it in defense mode. But you can also special monster for us this turn, so you just end phase this thing. 
Uh, during your opponent's demo phase, you can immediately have this effect resolve tribute summon, so did they not learn anything with monarchs? If this card sent from the spell target goes on the giver, you can target one monster on the field and destroy it. Okay, so we have very beautiful <laughs> effects here of just being able to play the game on your opponent's turn. That's so good. Alright, so these little fucking things, I can't... I think these are chicks. I hope these are chicks. These things are a bit weird. So they're all wing beast. Um, you can only use the effect of this guy once per turn. So if this card is XYZ dependent, you add a level 1 wing beast monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, to an XYZ summon monster using this field gets the, uh, the effect that can't be targeted by your opponent's card effects. Um, I think trap. Uh, if you control a beast wing type monster, you can special summon both this card and one wing beast put in your hand. Uh, XYZ summon monster gains this effect. Target one lyrical <coughs> Lunciana monster in your graveyard. Uh, attach that uh, monster to it as material. So it gets to equip more. Uh, turquoise Warbler. It's definitely a dude. Um, if you can tell the monster, special summon this card from your hand. This card special summon you, special summon one lyrical Lucina monster. So all of these. Maybe they'll be good. I, I want them to be. Assembly Knight. Nightingale. That's a chick. I'm pretty sure that one is. Two level 1 monsters. This card gains 200 attack for each material on it, so it's going to be weak as hell. Uh, this card can attack your opponent directly. Uh, this card has... This card with materials can attack a number of times per battle phase. Equal to the number of materials attached to it. Oh, that's cute. And once per turn during either player's turn, uh, you can detach one near Kalustina monster from this card. Uh, you control cannot be destroyed by value. You take no battle damage, and these change less to the end of the turn. Hmm. More Preda monsters. So you can only use the effect of Perda or blah, 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 blah. If this card is a normal social summon, uh, you can send one monster per hand to the graveyard social summon one Perda plant from your deck. Okay, that 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 helps. So good. Um, during a standby phase, you pass this card from graveyard, then target two level four lower Perda monsters in your graveyard. For the rest of this turn, you cannot honor summon, you cannot special summon, except for fusion summoning. Also special summon those monsters. Yay! It's a uh, fucking the Dark Verger thing all over again. Uh, Perda plant, Darling Cobra. If this card is supposed to summon by the effect of Propel, you can add one Polymerization or Fusion spell card, except for Diffusion Wave Motion from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Uh, Transcendent Fusion. Oh, man. <laughs> so they didn't actually learn anything that they were actually trying to do in the past uh, with Yu-Gi-Oh! So it's okay. So they made this card. Cards effects kind of big, but they didn't respond to this card. Yay. If he does life points, Fusion summon one Fusion monster from your deck using monster control as Fusion material. Manage this card from your graveyard, then target one monster fusion summon by this card's effect. Special summon all, those, all of the fusion materials for that monster fusion summon from your graveyard, but their attack and defense become zero. So hey, I, I'm just gonna make more. <laughs> it's so good, like you can't just actually interfere with this card's activation. Um, oh man, old old Yu-Gi-Oh cards here. Ah, oh. so Diabon Colonel gains 500 attack uh, when he declares an attack. So he's still got that 1812. Uh, target one face monster punk controls, and at the end of the turn, that monster does attack equal to this card's attack after words banish this card till the next damage phase. <sighs> it's so good to see the abound colonel back. Uh, I did keep. He is level 5, sad face. It's okay, they couldn't make a level 4. Dark Summoning Beast. You can only use the effect of Dark Summoning Beast once per turn. Uh, you can tribute summon this card, special summon one Uriah, Haman, or Lord Striking Thunder from your hand or deck, ignoring summoning conditions. Oh, yeah. So, fucking happy that we're getting that. And then, Fallen Paradise. Um, you guys remember that old field spell? Um, the second effect of Fallen Paradise can only be used once per turn. Uh, if Uriah... Haman and Rabiel in your monster card zone cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. If there's a Uriah, Haman, or Rabiel in your monster zone, you can draw two cards, so they're rewarding you. Uh, Non-booster stuff, uh, Predator Beast. Uh, reveal any number of Predator uh, cards in your hand. Then target any number of face cards your opponent controls. Place one Predator counter on those. Uh, if a monster with Predator counter is level 2 or higher, it becomes level 1. If a Predator monster control, be a short by battle, manage this card from graveyard instead. Yay. Uh, Lucina Recite Starling. Um, two level one or more monsters. So you guys remember those guys. And you can target one face monster on the field. It gains three attack and defense for each material attached to it. Once per turn, detach one material. Add one level one winged 
beast type monster from your hand. The amount of damage you take from this XYZ is also inflicted to your opponent. So suicide runs go. Um, super heavy support. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about these here. So uh, this new trap card lets you add one of your Phantom Knight monsters that are banished to your hand, which is extremely nice. When your opponent's monster goes to attack, if this card's in your graveyard, you can target one level four lower. Uh, the Phantom Knight's monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. If you do special summon this card from your graveyard, it's a normal monster. Uh, Warrior Dark 00. zero. Uh, this card was special summon. Uh, Banish when it leaves the field. So, that's okay. So, Luna Light. The Kaleido Chick. Uh, once per turn, you summon one Luna Light monster from your main deck or extra deck to the graveyard for the rest of this turn. If you would use this card as future material, you can treat this card's name as the same name as the set monsters. And if this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target one polymer position in your graveyard add it to your hand. And if this card is banished, you can activate this effect until the end of this turn. Your opponent can activate cards or effects until the battle phase. So, um, basically missing support for these decks to kind of make them a little bit better. Super Heavy Samurai Daidashi, finally, like, this is one of the cards that these guys actually needed. So when this card is normal or special summon, you can change it to defense mode. This card can attack while in defense mode, so keep mind it's 12 to 18. And then if there's no spell trap cards or given, change this card uh, from face-up defense mode to attack mode if you do add one super heavy samurai monster from deck to your hand. So it is a rota. Um, this new Dark Lord thing is pretty fucking stupid. If it's normal or special summon, you can send one Dark Lord from your deck to the graveyard. Pretty good, I heard. Uh, Gazuki, during your main phase, you can send... One zombie type monster from your deck to the graveyard. If this card sends the graveyard, banish one zombie monster in your graveyard, except for Gozuki, special summon one zombie type monster from your hand. So, kind of taking care of some of the flaws that they had. Necroid Synchron. Uh, banish one tuner and two or more non tuner monsters from your graveyard. If you do special summon one star, does synchro monster from your extra deck whose level is equal to the total of those banished monsters. But its effects negated. But hey, it counts as synchro summon, so uh, just enjoy the free star just for no fucking reason. Uh, Celestial Double Star Shaman, level 2. One turn plus one or more non tuner When this card is synchro summon, you activate this effect and special monster for the rest of this turn. Um, except for synchro monsters, also special up to two level two non tuner from your hand or graveyard in defense mode. Uh, that's extremely good. Uh, they wanted to make seven, <laughs> the seven sins even better. So it's two level four monsters. One for turn, detach material from this card, target one monster your opponent controls, banish it until the next semi phase. Also, the dam and damage side of this card gains 300 attack and three rank. So. <laughs> It'll reach 3,000 and rank 10 by, like, turn 3. Uh, bro, Thunder, when it's normal summon, add one light level 4 Thunder-type monster from your deck to your hand. A Thunder King surges. Um, Fright for Reborn. Uh, target one Fright for a monster graveyard, special summon it. Uh, except during the turn that it was sent to the graveyard, banish this card from your graveyard. Target one level 4 Fright for a monster graveyard, return it to your hand. So they got their own monster Reborn, which is extremely nice. Uh, new stuff for the Pendulum Evolution. So, let's talk about these. Astrographer Sorcerer. Uh, pendulum level, oh, it's level 7. Pendulum scale 1. Uh, during the main phase, you destroy this card. If you do place one Stargazer Magician from your hand or deck into your Pendulum Zone. Oh god, here we go again. Uh, if this card you control will be destroyed by battle, you can switch some of this card from your hand. Uh, then you can add one monster from your deck to your hand whose name is the same as uh, the monster that was destroyed this turn. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then banish one Pendulum Dragon, or one XYZ monster. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can banish this card you control, then banish one Pendulum Dragon, one XYZ monster, one Synchro Dragon, and one Fusion Dragon monster from your hand, field, or graveyard. So let's summon one Hyrule Zark from your extra deck. Okay, who the fuck is Hyrule Zark? Okay, I'll have to read that here. Uh, Chronograph for Sorcerer. Uh, during your main phase, you can destroy this card if you do place one Time Gazer Magician, so this gets the other Magician. If this card you control will be destroyed by battle, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, this also lets you fusion summon the big guy. Iris Magician, I assume. Once per turn, you target one Dark Spellcast type monster you control versus this turn, double any battle damage it inflicts to your opponent. Uh, if this card is destroyed by battle, you can add one Pendulum Graph uh, from your deck to your hand. Huh. Black Fame Magician. Um, you can target one face-up card your opponent controls. That monster attack becomes half its current attack. Uh, this card is also always treated as an XYZ dragon. I should have noticed that part. This is a pendulum dragon. Um, I haven't seen anything else up here. 
So, alright, we are here. Nope. Uh, destroy, yada, 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 yada. Okay, this is a single dragon. Um, this card is used for a single summon banisher. Okay. Um, let's see here. Violent Poison Magician once per turn during damage calculation when a dark spell cast type monster you control battles. You activate this effect. That monster gets 12 minute attack until the end of the turn. Destroy it. This card is treated as a fusion dragon. This card will be destroyed by battle by card effect. You can target one face of the crown of the field and destroy it. And he's level 4. Um, let's see here. Uh, Pendulum Graph of Ages. All spell cast type monsters can be targeted by your opponent's card effects. If it faces up a magician pendulum, leaves your field, you can add one magician for. Okay, this is, this is already ridiculous. And then, of course, I believe they're going to reveal the last card uh, later because, you know, reasons. And last but not least, the last bit of news here. Um, where this promo Gandora fucking looks hot. Like, too bad we're not going to get to see it until later, but, I mean, you, you take what you get. Uh, dual Cafe. That's some really nice art, I'm not going to lie. But... Alright guys, that wraps up our V-Jump for this month. Uh, this Magician support's fucking good. We're finally getting Bro Thunder after 50 million years. And some broken support. This fucking fusion card's stupid as well. So guys, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard. M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games. And No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.